Hi there folks, thanks for clicking onto my channel today. This is Cooking with Sasha China and today I'm going to show you how I do poached salmon fillets. Um, so first off, I uh, just wanted to say sorry for the noise in the background. I've actually got my washing machine going on. I thought I uh, might as well do two things at once. So um, obviously for those of you who are following me on YouTube, you'll know that I've done a few poaching videos already. The previous one was how to poach a whole row, um, a oh, whole roast chicken. <laughs> a whole poached chicken and then the one before that was how to poach eggs so obviously now we're going to do poached salmon as you probably guessed i am trying to lose weight i have said this three videos ago still haven't lost the weight never mind anyway so um right the first thing um i've got on the chopping board is obviously my salmon fillets some garlic some lemon salt pepper fennel seeds star anise and coriander seeds so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop it into a pot and then get the cooking liquor going. There is actually a special name for that, actually. It's actually like the cooking water that's poached on. Anyway, um, I won't bore you with that. So, alrighty, let's get cooking. Oh, where's the pause button? Awkward. Alrighty, so as you can see, I've popped all my um, ingredients into the pan. I'm then going to fill that with water and what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring it to a boil, reduce it to a simmer then, I'm going to place the salmon for this in, I'm going to cover it and cook it for 8 minutes and then um, go from there because really what you want, you want to cook it until the salmon is opaque throughout so yeah, I'm going to pop those in once you've got the water in. So just a quick run for it, I'm not sure, I can't remember if I actually just told you what I put in. But I put in some uh, coriander seeds, star anise, fennel, black pepper, and salt. Literally, got I had a mind fart, and yeah, <laughs> I can't remember if I told you. So I've got um, the herbs in there. So I'm going to bring this to a boil, and then once I've brought it to a boil, I'm going to turn the heat down and pop the fish in. Okay, so I've sliced up the um, lemons and sliced roughly sliced up the garlic. I'm now going to add that in to my cooking liquor, which is looking very good. So as you can see, that's all in there now. I'm gonna let that just um, infuse in there for a little bit longer, and then I'm going to add in the salmon. Okay, so it's come to the boil. I've turned it down onto a low simmer. I'm now going to add in the salmon fillets. So I'm going to try and do this while recording. Now usually, um, I don't usually just like carry it over like this, but uh, since I'm recording. So you're just going to gently plop it in. Plop. Make sure it's covered by the water. And don't burn yourself like I just did. Never mind. Uh, we're also going to do the other one now. Gently just uh, plop it in. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to asbestos fingers, pop that on top there, just try and push that down a bit, and we're going to do the same with this one as well. Ah, no. All right, so now I'm going to let this uh, poach away for a bit. Um, it's going to be a bit hard because that other hand's touched the spoon and touched the raw salmon. So anyway, so I'm going to pause it. So what I'm going to do is now put the lid on and let it cook for about eight minutes. Okay, so the salmon is perfectly cooked now. I'm going to dish it up. And what I've done, I've put it on a bit of fresh spinach, plum tomato, some lemon and some avocado. I'm going to serve that up now and show you what it looks like. Alrighty folks, and there you have it. So um, this was me, how I do my poached salmon. And I've served it with some fresh spinach, cherry, tomato, plum tomatoes, avocado, and obviously I'm gonna put some lemon and I've just added some extra pepper on there as well. Anyway, so uh, thanks for watching my video guys. This was Cookie with Sasha China, and um, I'll see you guys in my next video.